for girl chat. Y'all ready for girl chat? Oh! Yes, ma'am. Let's get it going. Ladies, I got something good today. Okay. I saw a meme, and I uh -huh. want to get your opinion on it. Take a look okay. at it. It asks, for men, mm -hmm. if you propose and she says no, is the relationship over? Ooh, ooh, that's actually a really so, good question. So, you know, that's do you think question. if a woman rejects a man's proposal, is there a chance of saving the relationship? I think it depends on how long they, they have been together. Yes. Right? Because mm -hmm. if you've been together for, I think, past, like, five years and she says no, it's like, well, what are you doing? Yeah. Right. What is she waiting for? But if he asks maybe, like, maybe after dating after a year or two. I know for me, I want to get to know, really know the person mm -hmm. that I'm going to marry. Yeah, so I don't yes. think it would be a problem. Yeah, it she shouldn't. Said, yeah, right? Oh my gosh, if a man was really mature, he's got to know that if a woman says no, there's got to be reasons behind it. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of times, just like God, sometimes he's not saying no, he's just saying not, not now. now. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so I'm agree. tripping. You no. are. No. No, there's no if you, way. If a guy asks a girl you know if, what she's, it takes if for a man to get on one knee and do that and ask yes, a woman but he's to ask But sometimes it's too soon. Yeah. What do you say? Why? I say no. It's, it's, it's a wrap. Really? So if you were a guy... <laughs> yes, because if she's playing waste his time in 2017... But she's not wasting his time if, if they've only been dating for like a year or two. Yes, or maybe she's not ready just because she has to deal with herself. So. Some women just never want to get married at all. Maybe True. that's just not something that they want. Well, it maybe. depends on how she says no. Because okay. I remember watching this, foot, this basketball game uh -huh. and it was halftime and the man was like, he had oh. the cheerleaders and he was in a box and the woman didn't know Right? And they had the mascot and everybody. Yeah. And so they had her come up like it was a surprise. Oh, I saw this. Yeah. And he came out the box and had a ring. And when I tell you, she is probably still running out the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. everybody was like, oh my goodness. And so when it's that type of proposal and she say no, I think it's over. Yeah. But I think if you make it like, because first of all, you kind of know when somebody's going to ask you to marry them, right? You, you so hopefully should we have, have a spoken conversation? about it. That's another thing. I think the couple should definitely be at a place where they've talked about whether or not they'd True. be open to getting married. Exactly. But do all couples do that? I don't think so. Some Sometimes men don't. just like to surprise Are there them. any single men in the audience? Any single men? Any Dang. Our all show is booed up like all that. All right. All the brothers. Okay, a married man, because I want a man's opinion about this. Yeah. Okay? How do you feel about this if a man proposes to a woman and she says no? Is the relationship over? Not necessarily. Yep. It all depends what type of woman it was I was talking to. If I was after oh. you, I'll still be pursuing. Oh. Yeah. It's the quality that I'm looking for. It depends on it, what you... It's the quality that I'm looking for, not just the package. So if she say no, but how many times you gonna hear no from her before well, you maybe, go... Maybe once or twice at least. Okay. Least once, once or, or twice. twice. And twice. Yeah. Patience is a virtue. Because yeah. at the end of the day, sir, I would think that you know if she's worth asking if she was willing to commit to you for the rest of her life, then you're w willing to wait until she's ready. Am I right? Well... How much time do you have? <laughs> I got as much time as I need to make sure I'm an appropriate wife for that man. All right, but now here we go. Now, if I'm pursuing you, uh -huh. and I put everything, I, I lay down every one, I put my black book down. Right. And I whole heart. Put your black book down. That's the, came the, after you. That's the other girls. They not in no more. more. It's I got it. Of I chips. got it. Come on. Yes. Look, I don't have a whole lot of time, but if I give you my heart from the beginning, and you turn it down, I need to run. But wait, you're contradicting yourself. No, he's because saying if you different. Because if you don't want me, it's someone else that, that does. The, right. The, what he's saying is, yeah. if okay. she wants to be with him, but she's just not ready, he is willing to wait. If you are saying no because you just don't want to be with him, oh, then yeah, he absolutely. needs to run. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, yeah I, I agree, agree with that. that. Yeah. I that's, agree with that's that. Right. Well, um, that's man. I remember. Yeah. But have you ever said yes to an engagement that you may be knew deep down in your heart maybe wasn't the best decision. Yes, mm. and that's why I got divorced in six months. Well, that, well, wow. No, that's real I'm life. I'm asking from a place of I've, I've been there, yeah. you know, where I think sometimes people say yes for the wrong reasons, and I think if you're honest with yourself and you 
when you've been with someone for a really long time and maybe it's something that seemed like the next thing and everybody mm -hmm. around you is like, well, when are you guys gonna get engaged? And, and you almost know, mm -hmm. well, it hasn't naturally happened between us because maybe we're really not mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And I think as a woman, sometimes you say yes because, I know, and I know if you've never been there, you're not gonna understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but try to empathize a little bit. You almost feel like you deserve to say yes. Oh. You feel pressure to say yes? No, no, no it's no. Different. You feel like you um, you invested so much time oh. that it almost would be a shame not to say yes. I see Do you what guys you understand what I mean? Because you feel like it's a waste of time. Like I spent don't. all these years with this person, and if I don't at least maybe try and say yes or see if maybe, if maybe even the engagement will change. Ah, the what dynamics. you already have going on. That's yes. a lot of years to you, though, being engaged, because sometimes people yeah. have a different number in yeah. their head. What's a lot of years where you feel like, okay, I've invested a like lot dating of and time. Years? Six years six is years? a long time. Dating? Six the, years dating. See, yeah. I dated Adam for six years, yeah. and I didn't want to be engaged when we first started dating just after year one, year two, because I believe there's that infatuation stage. For sure. And I wanted to really, really know the man yeah. that I was gonna marry. Right. Yeah. And you I, met you met Adam and started dating. You started yes. dating at meeting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. When you know somebody for years before the dating too. Got then it. So yours like, is longer. Yeah. H how long did you know? I knew a year before dating. Got it. And then dating for five years. When did you know? Because I think a woman always knows this. When did you know that it wasn't right? but then you kept on in the relationship. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, no. no, it's do actually not funny that? at all. It's actually... Do you want me to ask that question? No, I, 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 no I had to think about okay. it if I'm being honest, because I don't want to just spew out something no, and not true. be truthful. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I, I think... Uh, I think I knew when I moved across the country mm. and we didn't need each other in that Got it. way. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I, and I think at some point it almost can become almost a saving grace. Like yes. a, let's try to, maybe if we do this. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. No, and that's yeah. real talk, because a lot of people need to yeah. hear that and you can learn from. Because yeah, I, don't, I don't know how to explain that. Great. There's so many people that'll say, well, why are you engaged? And then why, like, yep. why do people get engaged and then not get, go through with yes. it? Yes. Guys, these things happen. Yeah, but that's Jeannie, the purpose said of an before, engagement. Yeah, Jeannie, yes. you know, it's hard to explain that because there's multiple things. You never know what happens in, in the inside of a relationship. Right. You could see things from the outside and people try, and I think it always is best to try, but you always know and you should always follow your heart at the end right. of the day. Absolutely. You never walk down an aisle with somebody that you're not 100% sure about. I think and it's, that's what and I like, was saying. That's what engagement is for. Yeah, that's that's the that purpose time. Of that's it. the purpose of it to see, like, okay. Are we right for each other yeah. or are we not? And I applaud women who recognize when it's not and break it off instead yeah. of going through with it. Because exactly. you either cry now yeah. or you'll cry later. You always, what you wanna say? I want to say you I always really said applaud that. this topic because unless you've been through it, you will not understand. So hard to explain. But it's a very interesting pressure that's placed upon you, either in a good way or in a very anxious way when you get proposed yeah. to. Um, a lot of factors lead up, and that's why I love our girl chats, because we talk about how, wh what you should do when you've dated yeah. in order to get to the marriage that should be the one of your dreams. You know, how you should talk about marriage in this case. But when that man goes through so much to produce the ring, get down on his knee, maybe talk to your parents, maybe create some type of scene so that the proposal goes just right. Or not do so much and you know that this wasn't thought out. Right, whatever it may be, but when he gets out of his knee, you all of a sudden have this overwhelming pressure to make sure you don't hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember, I don't remember which year it was, but I remember one year for New Year's Eve when my girl Lala was proposed to on MTV. And it was way before Carmelo, right? Way, way beyond that. And I was, I was On like, TV? Yes, live on TV. On MTV? On MTV, yes. Live on MTV wow. for a New Year's party. And we, I was looking at her and it was in front of everybody. And I just watched her face and it was such a overwhelming moment. And we all were so young, I just looked at her like, oh my God, what's she gonna say? And of course she said yes. Mm -hmm. And later on she's talked about this. 
she realized that she, well, she didn't want to hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. And I never really quite understood that, but I also knew that if I was in the same position, I'd probably do the same thing. Until, actually, Freddie proposed. When Freddie proposed, let me get this straight, that when we were dating, I knew from the get-go that he was husband material. Mm -hmm. I knew that I wanted to marry Isn't it crazy how you, you literally know. could meet them and know it? I knew it, I, immediately, know. yes. However, when he proposed, it was in front of my family, and I, oh, I kind of wished that I could say, can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> really? Uh -huh. wow. Yes, because for me, I was only 27, 28 years old. I hadn't gotten myself straightened out, mm -hmm. and now knowing myself today, I just wish I had a little bit more time to mature because I kind of dragged him through my maturity ah. through our first years of marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he knows mm -hmm. I come from a broken marriage. He knows that I have had, you know, um, inconsistent examples of love in my life. So I needed to turn 30, now I realize, because all my women out there who have turned 30, you know how 30 is so different. 30 is life. Yes. 20, Changing. right? Yes. Amazing. Such a it's huge crazy change. crazy how much you change. Yes. yes. So if I had just been able to kind of Pause, and I do this because you remember Out of This World, Evie? Yeah. Yes. yes. If I could just pause and just go, let's just, just give me some time to get mm -hmm. better because I want to mm -hmm. be as right for you as you are for me, yes. but yes. I'm not where you are right now for me. I would have enjoyed our first years of marriage so much more. So I applaud any woman out there who is able to use her voice and just in whatever way she needs to say, not now. I have a question, and It doesn't mean though. you don't love them yes, any less. Exactly. It, it, it means you actually love them more. Yes. Because but then yes, I also, I, I have a question because when you did say yes to him, why did you say yes? Because I saw a man who was so ready and he had prepared all my family in front of us and my parents were weeping beside us. My brothers had put together a beautiful video depicting all of our love and I looked in his eyes and in that moment, I felt so safe and secure that I wow. said yes because I knew he would lead us through it. But in a yes, and that's amazing. Wow. That's and he did. He right. did lead us through it. Yeah. But in, if we're gonna be real, yeah, our first years were very hard. Yeah. Now, now I asked you that because yeah. sometimes a man can ask you to marry him when they know they're in trouble. See, that's what happened to me. I've been asked about four times, <gasps> right? This is. <laughs> No, this yeah. is real. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. See, it was Lonnie that was engaged four times, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, not me. But the, the, I remember it was the second time, it was the second dude that asked me to marry him. We had been together for like three years, and then he did something that I was like, I'm done. And Got so it. then he came back, yep. and then that's when he asked me to marry him. Uh -huh. And I was like... Heck no! Yeah. You know, I'm not marrying you. So sometimes it, a guy can ask you because he knows he's messed up. Yeah. But oh. he's messed up so much. And that's why mm -hmm. sometimes a woman yes. will say no. no. It's, not it's just, the last you know. saving grace that right. yes. you know this girl is out the door. You keep losing her just a little bit more. And I think mm -hmm. sometimes guys recognize that and they're like, dang, let me just try to. Let me just go ahead. You know, and I was like, nah, yeah. nah, player. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot. That or, or public <laughs> weighing. I How know. much did we talk on this thing? If anybody watched our show from the beginning, and we're gonna be real, it was a lot. It was a lot of when you gonna get married, Adrian? Yeah. When you like? It was a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I think you. you I feel it. Yeah. I personally felt that she was pressured. Got it. I mean, if I'm gonna but, be honest with myself, but in that I case, felt... I have to almost feel sorry for. Him as well. Yeah. You don't, that's a, it's a public show. You don't think somebody walk up to somebody, hey, when, when you're, you're gonna marry ask her to marry her? Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's a lie. Yeah, you know? And that unveiling in front of everybody. So it you got sucks. random people tweeting sucks. you, telling you what you should do with your relationship when they don't even know you. It is a lot. It's a lot. And I know we're speaking to somebody out there who yes. is maybe engaged right now and yeah. not listening to that voice. Do what's right because you never have to rush for anybody else. That's Ever. right. It's true. Ever. It's your life. And yeah. when it's right, Right? You will know yeah. it. It's you will true. absolutely know it in your gut, in your heart. You'll feel peace that no one else maybe understands, but you will absolutely feel peace and and, and that marriage. Part of your heart. Marriage is no joke because nope. even when you're happily married, you're gonna go through. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine if you're unhappily married and you're going through? So don't do it if you know it's not right. Yep, that's true. Please don't. Or do what this one did. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> just say, just say no.